Bloodshed in Afghanistan. Taliban insurgents attacked two government buildings in Kabul, killing at least 19 people in one of the most audacious attacks on the capital by the Islamist groups since their ouster in 2001. NATO's Brigadier General Richard Blanchett in Kabul was made available to Reuters by the Pentagon. These uh, attacks were uh, cowardly attacks because, again, uh, they were done in areas where there were civilians. The attacks come at a time when the U.S. is reviewing its strategy and discussing troop increases to the region. Malou Innocent of the Cato Institute. The timing of the troop buildup is increasingly critical because of the deteriorating security challenges within Afghanistan. However, many U.S. policymakers and scholars are questioning the strategy of the mission. What do we hope to achieve? The White House is expected to have a new Afghan strategy in place by April when NATO meets. While there had been some hope that NATO would supply more troops to Afghanistan, increasingly analysts say while there could be support, it is not likely to be boots on the ground. If it looks like the U.S. is carrying too much of the military burden in Afghanistan, that could pose problems at home. If the United States is seen as increasing its own burden, whereas our NATO allies are not, I think that we'll see a decrease in popular will and popular sentiment within the United States to continue the mission. The attacks came a day before Richard Holbrook, the new U.S. Special Envoy to Afghanistan and Pakistan, was expected to visit Kabul. Deborah Luderbeck, Reuters.